Hey guys, Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. Um, I'm the founder of the world's first self-growing planter. Grows your food and your plants for you. Uh, the focus is going to be today on our peppers. We uh, put about 30 to 70 seeds in each planter. All the seeds have, it appears, have germinated. Nothing have died. Um, and now we're about to make our first harvest on these peppers. I just want to show you what the harvest is going to look like. Now, I don't want you to do what I do when it comes to harvest, okay? You have to look at uh, the business, the industry that you're in. You know, some of you are going to be growing for food, immediate food. Others are gonna be growing for seeds, okay? You're all gonna be growing for different things and so the reason why I come back and I harvest from off this plant is because I don't want it to become too heavy. Now, you know what? I probably can hold off harvesting. I mean, they look a good size, but they're not, uh, they're not, oh my gosh, she feels so good. All natural, look, no, no blemishes, look at this. Can you believe this? No blemishes anywhere. And any pepper, perfect peppers. The world's most perfect pepper because I'm not growing it. I can't grow food. You can't grow food. Nobody can grow food. Stop trying to grow food. Listen very carefully. I want you to stop trying to grow food and I want you to learn how to create an environment that is sustainable so it can take off and grow itself. Okay, so, and as you can see, we have a lot more to come. And that's the uh, hibernaros, and, and we're seeing it across the board. I mean, it's not just one plant that's experiencing it. They're all experiencing it. Maybe I should hold off a day, a day or two before I start harvesting some of these things. You know, maybe I should hold off. But I'm ready to jump in here and uh, make sense out of these Hungarian peppers and <clears throat> enjoy their beauty and their taste. All right, so... We do not use synthetic fertilizers. This is grown using a 312-12 formula, wherein that we create an ecosystem in the planter that causes your plants to grow. And I think these are the Hungarian down below, and these are the these are the, the jalapeno, and they look great. I love what I'm seeing. I love the results of this growing program. Now, because we are growing in such a condensed area, isn't that beautiful? Man, that is absolutely stunning. Some of these plants are gonna be oxygen deficient because each one has the potential of taking off. But as you can see, we don't have a problem here. There's no dead flowers. There's nothing falling off from the ground. There's nothing happening. We had a torrential rain. Oh, that's not what I'm talking about. We had a torrential rain uh, not too long ago and washed everybody out. No, not me. The rain helps the system grow better. It helps it grow better. It will endure for a certain period of time. When the rain flash floods came with you guys, it wiped all the nutrition out of the, uh, out of the soil. It just wiped it out and carried it away. And it takes time to break those things down and make them available. It really takes time to do that, okay? So I was tempted to pick these also, just to show off, let you guys see what's going on. They look beautiful, don't they? These cayennes always are a very pretty pepper. They're gonna start turning red pretty soon. And uh, I think that's when I go when I start picking them and separating them and doing all that I have to do to make this thing work out. Okay, so moral of the story, torpedo pot is no joke, okay? I don't care what you're growing. I don't care what you can think of. You can't outgrow torpedo pot. No way. We're the world's leading grower, home grower, and we do industrial pots. There's nobody who can compete with us. We're not worried about growth. Growth is not our problem. The problem is, is getting these into your hands so you can immediately start seeing the benefits. Immediately start seeing the benefits.
These are the bell peppers, green bell peppers. I think they're California wonder peppers. They're late comers in this area. I don't know why. All the other peppers do well. I want this to do so much, but it comes so late. It comes, and it certainly comes, and it's developing. But I need to find out why that environment of that pepper is different from the other ones. So, did you hear me what I just said? Each species grows differently. And you'll find some small changes where you can amend your soil now. You can actually change your environment. It gives you control over your plants. And let me tell you something, the results are in. This is amazing. That is really, really amazing. But anyhow, we're talking about peppers and um, so, so Peter Pot wants to grow your food. We don't have a problem with food. We have a problem with distribution, all right? You need to be the distributor for your food so you can sell it globally. And that's why we have agriculturalblockchain.com. Agriculturalblockchain.com. That's our distribution arm. That's what we're building, a network, a global network of buyers and sellers. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.